do another tips and licks video here. This is going to be a lick that we're working on. Uh, this is going to be a arpeggio sweep picking. It's going to be, go be bouncing between a major seven chord and a minor seven chord. And that is going to be a C major seven and an E minor. E minor seven. So, to get started here, we're going to start off with an E minor arpeggio. So we're going to start on the seventh fret, fourth string. I'm sorry, fifth string. And you're going to go hammer on to the minor third. You're going to bar with the ring finger. Your second finger is going to play the eighth fret on the B string. And then your first finger is going to get seventh fret E string. And then you're going to hammer on to the 12th. This is where we get some minor 7 feels, a little bit of tapping and pull offs. So you're going to go pull off from the 12 down to the 7th. You're going to go down sweep on the 2nd string 8th fret. So you're going to go from that 3rd string, 7th, hammer on to 9. And then here you're going to reach up to the 10th fret. So your pinky is going back and forth from the 12th and the 10th fret. So that's how you get that down. And then once you do that, once you go from here, whoop, from here you go back down the entire arpeggio again. Now this is when you change to uh, the C major seven arpeggio. So this is going to be on the 6th string with your 2nd finger, 8th fret. So you're going to do a basic kind of arpe uh, root 3rd, 5th. So you got 6th string and then the 5th string, 7th fret. And you're going to do a hammer on onto the 10th. Um, <clears throat> And then your ring finger is going to grab the ninth on the fourth string. That's also going to be a hammer on. Hammer on. And then that's also going to roll into a bar. Your ring finger there. So that's my ring finger on the third string, ninth fret. And then you're going to hit the 8th on the 2nd um, <clears throat> string and then 7 to 8 on the E string and it's going to be a hammer on pull off. So that's basically the major seven shape. Um, this is kind of cool when you're either trying to spice it up between, you know, using the minor chord over a major seventh, or you're using the major seventh over the minor chord. It can work either way. It adds some cool spice to um, whatever licks you're coming up with for a song. Um, so yeah, this takes a lot of practice. You know, there's a lot going on there especially with that E minor. There's a lot going on with that one, so that's going to take some coordination. I recommend taking it slow and just building up on the metronome from there. All right, thanks a lot.